This is not a hero story. Progress is a killer on the loose. This is a tale of trouble and return. This is a tale of trouble and return. I found my weakness in my struggle to love my neighbor. How could I if I refuse to listen with the softness of mule's ears, the sun's inexhaustible lips or river's deep time heartbeat? After all, I'm only human. After all, I'm not only human. If I become star or dust or part pine from drinking the forest, if bats chirped in my cave and sphinx hawks fluttered their riddles, if I dove into a sagebrush sea or moved to rock wren's rhythm, it was only through acrobatic acts of pain, attention, nothing more, nothing more. My life I name gratuitous, I call it abundantly a bloom, a wash and a dream, a strange love, a third thing creatively cacophonous. I call it thunder stew, ludicrous and ludic. I call it beauty, beastly blessed. Dare we say the apocalypses have been long unfolding now, and now, a great and awful maturation is underway. There will be scars. There will be scars. They will be made sacred in audacious acts of truth-telling. No one is immune, and even mountains weep. My griefs are not mine. My griefs are not mine. I do not have them, but practice them with you. And you, and you, like an ancient art resurrected. Our unspeakable pain now must be a conversation of glistening grammar. For we will not meet tomorrow's tomorrow without its steady heat. Nor bereft of fresh astonishments from today's today. For there too will be sweet surprises of which there is no